celebrates the greatness of God. Earlier, we heard from different people who have been touched by the ministry of our father, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kui. We also heard from a vice chancellor who said that he's been a mentor to him. And now, as you must have heard in the promo, a legacy, another legacy, joined with so many others, is about to be revealed. We are here live at the venue of the first Dr. W.F. Kui Resource Library. It is a library for excellence, a library where you can see and obtain everything as it concerns what God has done, is doing, and continues to do through the ministry of Pastor Dr. W.F. Kui. As I speak now, we are hearing the sound of the entourage, and uh, they are almost arriving at the venue. Very shortly, they will arrive. I can tell you that right here, we have His Excellency, the Executive Governor, already represented by a very, very strong entourage. We have the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Honorable Anthony Gelassin, is here with the Honorable uh, Commissioners. And now, as you can hear, uh, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kubui's uh, convoy is arriving at this moment. And uh, here they come now. We thank God for this great historic moment that we find here as we call on the uh, choir and orchestra, the band, to give us that peace. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. And we are witnessing our father, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. And now, Your Excellencies, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we welcome our father, the convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, as he comes with the SSG and the government's dignitaries for the formal commissioning. You're welcome, Daddy, sir. Yes, sir. You're welcome, sir. So we proceed immediately. We have the camp lock leaders, the daddy of the knows. We proceed. Let's go. Let's go now. We proceed immediately. Daddy Kumuyi and Mommy Kumuyi are here together. We now go for the formal commissioning of the podium. This way, Daddy. Just here. SSG, sir. Yes, sir. So we'll turn. We'll face this way, sir. We'll face this way, sir. Daddy. We'll face, yes, we'll face this way. So now we'll have the unveiling and the young lady step forward.
On behalf of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Taraba State, I can take that is Dixon Ishaku, C-O-N. I wish to, before I cut this cake, permit me to say these few words that Dr. M.F. Kumui, General Superintendent, Deeper Life Ministry, I want to commend you and also the good people of the church for being bold enough to add more color to the, the, to the educational sector and also educational system of Tanaba State in general. I'm sure we shall more often than not be disturbing you and also, you will see large number of students and also elders alike that will come and make use of this. Uh, Dr. M.F. Kumui, okay, W.F. Kumui Resource Library, because this library is the backbone of education. So we pray that the Almighty God in his own way and in his wisdom will bless and increase our knowledge of all those that will step in here of Dr. M. F. Kumui, okay, W. F. Kumui resource library that has been constructed. This edifice, so good, may the Almighty God bless it in this holy name. Amen. I call this tape in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. M.F. Dr. W.F. Kumui Resource Library, Jalingo, Taraba State, commissioned by His Excellency Architect Darius Dixon Ishabu, C-O-N-F-N-I, F-N-I-T-P, the Executive Governor of Taraba State, on the 19th November 2020, to the glory of the Lord. Amen. And now the door is open as uh, His Excellency, the Executive Governor, ably represented, and our Father, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui, and uh, mommy, mommy Esther Kumui, amidst uh, the elders and kind officials, make their way into the Dr. W. F. Kumui Resource Library, Charlingo, Taraba State, commissioned this day, the 19th of November 2022, uh, by His Excellency, Architect Darius Dixie Nishaku, Commander of the Niger. FNITP. Let's be seated as uh, the band gives us some tune. up for Jesus right here at the Dr. W. F. Kui Resource Library. Thank you very much. 
We rise, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, for the Nigerian national anthem. standing for opening prayer as I invite Bishop to say the opening prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege to be in this resource center. We thank you for our Father. We thank you for the governor. We thank you for all that are present. We're asking that in this function, you will be with us. The Holy Spirit will brood over this function and establish your authority and your knowledge in this land and beyond. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And everybody say, Amen. Please be seated. Your Excellencies, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me formally let you know, especially for those who are online, that we have just witnessed the formal opening of the Dr. W.F. Kui Resource Library right here in Taraba. We'll shortly have some few comments made and then we'll have the dedication just before we close let me very quickly recognize the executive governor of taraba state is ably represented by honorable anthony gelasin secretary to the state government thank you very much i want to very very specially recognize once again we can't be tired of doing that our father in the faith, the father of fathers, the one the Lord is using in this end time, our father, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, Convena GCK, is here with us. And our mommy, mommy Esther Kumui, is also here with us. I want to respectfully recognize Honorable Commissioner Land and Survey, Honorable Gambon Dafo. Thank you for being here. Honorable Commissioner, Basic and Secondary Education, Honorable Johannes Jigem, thank you very much for being here. I want to recognize uh, the Chairman Tekan Ekwa Khan Taraba State, Reverend Philip Micah Dopa, thank you very much for being here. Bishop Innocent Northeast Khan Vice Chairman, also here with us, thank you very much. His Royal Highness Ibrahim Ishaya Etsu Afatigun. Um, Kami Local Government Area of Taraba State, also here with us. Your Royal Highness, thank you. Most Senior Apostle Elijah Jegede, Kampiaro, thank you. Special Apostle Gabriel Aziz, Reverend Dr. Victor Falak, Bishop Philip Isaac, uh, the Northeast Overseers of the Deeper Life Bible Church are all here with us. Uh, Reverend Dr. Nelson Duna of the PFN is also here with us. Thank you very much. Uh, Honorable Edward Baraya, Commissioner of Tertiary Education, is also here with us. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. And distinguished ladies and gentlemen, there's somebody very special also here with us. That person is seated beside you. Tell the person you are a VIP. And even those of you online, you are also a VIP. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, we have the state overseer, Pastor Majali. He is here with us, the state overseer of Taraba. And I will, without much ado, invite him to quickly tell us about this resource center. Gentlemen of the press, you are also very much appreciated and welcome. State overseer, Pastor Majali, sir. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Our Father and the Lord, we are grateful 
for this honor, this big honor you have done to us. Our mom in the Lord, we are very grateful for your being here and being by the side of our father always. I want to thank God also for the representative of our governor, Anthony Jelassi, and all the commissioners here, and the founders of churches and bishops and block leaders. Thank you so much for coming here. This library, uh, it came about because of the initiative of Pan Taraba State, uh, it's, it's the fruit of our unity here, and uh, they suggested it, and I caught the vision, and we began to work on it. And our Father in the Lord graciously accepted it when I told him he didn't reject, he accepted it. And when I told him we we're going to commission it today, he also graciously even though he has tight schedules, he graciously accepted and is here with our mommy. Uh, the library is, um, the building is ongoing. I mean, the resources, we call it Dr. W.F. Kumoye Resource Library because we want to learn from the life of this great man of God. It's a legacy that we want to leave for generations to come. And we are believing that this is not going to top in Taraba State alone. We hope that this will be replicated all over the globe because we don't want to die with this great thing we are enjoying now. We want this vision to outlive our own generation. We have a lot to learn from our Father in the Lord, his life, his ministry, how he started and how God helped him to make the church to grow from just 15 people to what it is now all over the world. The extraordinary growth of Deeper Christian Life Ministry, the leaders in Taraba State were passionate and they said they want to uh, key in to be coming to this library so as to learn about our father's life and his ministry and the library is both e-library and physical library also so we have put in the system here a lot of things from the foundation of the church as many as we could lay hand upon up till now and we have pastor kumui's life and ministry we have history and extraordinary growth of Deeper Christian Life Ministry. We have here in our system uh, miracles and testimonies from various programs of the church, Sunday worship service materials, Monday Bible study materials, leadership development materials, revival services materials, workers training materials, sermon outlines and series of sermons. And uh, we have both audio and video messages of all programs of the church. And we have strategic congress materials. We have global crusade materials, gospel hymns and songs, and uh, Bible doctrines, biographies of some other great men of God, like John Wesley, uh, Finney, and Luther, and a, a lot of them, at least the ones that we know our Father and the Lord identify with. Then we have Christian classic books, some of the great, great books of great men of God that you cannot find in libraries today. We have uh, uh, we stock them in our system here so that we can just click a click of button. You can navigate from one place to another. And we also have uh, Bible dictionaries, concordance, deeper Christian life ministry websites, and social media platforms, Christian, uh, Women Mirror, research, a lot of physical books. Uh, we have gone to Lagos and we have uh, picked all the books of the ministry since the inception of the church, and except the ones that are no more in print, and we are arranging with them so that. Uh, by the permission of our Father and the Lord, they will still print them for us. Uh, there are a lot of things we can learn from here. And what we have done to make it easy, 
we have our ICT brethren, they have worked and they, most of these things I've said, you can assess them without data. And then when you get to the website, we have uh, data ready here all the time. Uh, we have uh, Wi-Fi here that you can call and just press button and know everything you want to know, research and do a lot of things. There are video messages, you click button, you'll be listening to them. We also have these headphones so that uh, as many as can be listening to messages, uh, whatever you are listening to, you nobody, it, nobody will disturb you. You are on your own. The other person, as they are here now, all of them are on their own. Some of them may be listening to a message, another person, another message like that. We also have printer here so that as you come in, as if you want to print like study outlines, uh, our father in the lost messages that we have put here, anyone you want to print, we can quickly send from here to the printer, send from any corner to the printer, and then the printer will bring it out for you. Uh, this is just a little because of time, but we have a lot here and it is ongoing. We keep building it right this side, that side, all of that. Thank you very much. The Lord bless all of Thank you. Me. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I ask for a round of applause. This is historic. This is simply great. And before I move on to the next, let me bring your attention to something I saw. John Wesley said, it cannot be that the people should grow in grace or let they give themselves to reading. Listen to this. A reading people will always be a knowing people. Tell your neighbor, be a knowing person. And I believe that this library soon will be replicated across the world globally. And since you can go online, I guess you also have opportunity to join from wherever you are. Take a brief goodwill messages as I will invite very briefly um, three of uh, gentlemen from Cannes to speak in 60 seconds each. Very brief goodwill message. Please welcome Bishop Innocent Solomon, Northeast Cannes Vice Chairman, to speak. Goodwill message. Very brief. Your Excellency, our Father in faith and our mother, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, you can now see that during the uh, liberation, supernatural liberation through Christ's crusade that was held here in Jalingo, 24th of February to 1st, our father was named the spiritual grand commander of Taraba State. You can see the impact of that spiritual tagging of our father. The heart of our father is in Taraba State. Great things happened during that crusade. Miracles, signs, wonders, deliverances, impartation and anointing. And after that crusade, God told me very clearly, and I saw this library in my spirit, and I told the state pastor, Dipala, God is saying that the life of Papa Kumuye should be replicated in a library and a research center. And, and, and I went to the air and I advocated for it. I spoke to the media houses. I said, look, Baba's life and his history require that we have a library where younger generations will learn from his life and experience. I spoke about it. And luckily for all of us, Taraba, the state pastor took it to Baba and Baba approved it. That is why we are here today. The spiritual grand commander of Taraba said, has proved himself. He had come again to bring the Global Church Workers Conference, which is viewed live from Taraba. This is the first of its kind in Taraba State. We are indeed the most privileged state, and we celebrate our father. The Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. The knowledge you have put in here will grow us in character, in discipline, in vision, in focus, in commitment to the service of the Lord. Baba, thank you. Mama, thank you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Reverend Dr. Victor Falak, President, Founder, Gods and Love Outreach Ministry, is now welcome to speak. We'd like you to come this way. Uh, the Governor, our Father in the Faith, 
and everyone that is here, I want to especially thank you for this great opportunity I have to give a goodwill message. Uh, the Bible says in Hosea chapter 4 and verse number 6 that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And uh, they are parents that give birth to children and by reason of wickedness, they destroy them through the practice of witchcraft. We thank God that we have a father that loves us as his children. And instead of destroying us, he has decided to build us through the process of knowledge. So giving us knowledge is building us. Giving us knowledge is giving us light. Because if you live without knowledge, it's like a man that is driving a car or flying on airplane without a dashboard. So the dashboard is the knowledge that gives you direction when to take off, you know, to know your altitude, when to land, to know your location. And that exactly is what knowledge does. So the Bible says we should grow in the knowledge of God. And our Father, what you've done to us as a people in Taraba State, we want to say thank you. And thank you, Mommy. And God bless you for what you have done by giving us knowledge. Once again, thank you, Daddy, and you're welcome to Tarab. Thank you very much. We'll now invite Bishop Philip Isaac, Can Vice Chairman, Taraba State. Bishop, thank you very much. Briefly. I just want to thank God for our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. Tomi F. Kumi, and our Mother in the Lord, Mommy Esther, His Excellency, ably represented by the State Secretary to the government and all the commissioners and everybody in this hall. We want to thank God for honoring Taraba State. We want to thank God for loving Taraba State and doing such a great work in Taraba State. On behalf of the Christian community in Taraba State, we say that the Lord will bless you and you will fulfill the number of your years on earth in Jesus' name. I want to call on all Tarabas, wherever you are, please. I advise us to patronize this very resource library. There are so many books here that have been written by our Father in the Lord and other generals in the Lord's vineyard. And I believe as you come here to study, the Lord will bless you. The Bible said, study to show yourself approved of God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the, work, the word of truth. I believe that if we come to this library, we'll get almost everything we need in this life. And the Lord will bless us. Papa, thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much. Your Excellency is very distinguished, ladies and gentlemen. We come to the point where we would hear from His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Taraba State, is ably represented by a distinguished gentleman, the Secretary to the State Government. Please welcome Honorable Anthony Jellison for a special remark. I'm short of words to thank Pastor Kumui, Dr. Kumui, for this big edifice. Mama, I forgot her outside, but permit me, I want to, in a very special way, to recognize you with his own amiable wife. You're most welcome. Uh, honorable commissioners that have accompanied me here, Earlier, they have been introduced, but it will not be out of place to reintroduce them again. Very close to me is Honorable Edward Bryan, the Honorable Commissioner, Ministry for Tertiary Institution. Next to Honorable Bryan is Honorable Indafo. He is the Honorable Commissioner, Minister of Land and Survey. We want no expansion. We shall call him and then see how we can expand this deeper life choice. Thank you. Okay, GGM has gone out. It's also ours. Permit me to also, in a very special way, recognize our fathers, the bishop, and then the Tekan Equa leader, the, chair, the pastor of uh, PFL. My the vice chairman, my spiritual, His Royal Highness, I want to welcome you most specially. I'm so happy. So if we continuously have 
uh, royal fathers in our midst, we are rest assured that we are doing the right thing. Because some of them will reject. They say, no, I'm not this, I'm that, I'm not this, I'm that. Like in the Acts of the Apostles, some people say, I'm for this, I'm for Paul, I'm for that. But today, I want to say again, Mungo de, Mungo de, de Zwanka. Other pastors who are here, those who spoke, and those who don't have the opportunity to say one or two words, never mind, next time you say more and more, because our Father in the Lord has done great to us. I don't have also much strength, I would have asked you that we should all gather up here and lift him up and say, Father, we are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful. I'm sure if my principal were to be here, he cherishes what our leaders do, the spiritual leaders, what they do to us. Sorry, my Mr. said, the state overseer, you are also, you have done well for reminding him, reminding him, reminding him, reminding him. And can we put our hands to him? Because if we had not been reminding him, maybe he would have forgotten. You know, it's not a sin if you forget something. But if you have somebody, I don't know whether I've said it, my last name. But if there's somebody like him, the state overseer, who has put it upon himself to be reminding him that, wait a minute, there are certain things that they can't say. It. We need to actualize it. How do we do? And he graciously gave that reply. We said, please, can we put our hands again together for him? Join me again, please. The pastors who are here, I cannot hear the sound of your hands. I want us to put our hands together. Once more, on behalf of His Excellency, Governor Darius Dixon Ishaku, CON, I want to thank you most sincerely. The sky will be your limit. Give us all the blessings that you can give us. I'm not a pastor, but I want to say when uh, one, what do you call him? He was trying to go and then Elijah, he said, please, can you drop your distance for me so that I can continue where you have stopped. So people of Tarama say, which I also say to you with one voice, with loudest voice, please, can you also drop all the knowledge that God has given you? Leave it for us in Tarama State so that we can build on it. May the Lord help us in the place of God. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and in us um, online, it's now time to hear from the convener who will make a response. He will also formally dedicate this library to the glory of God. And uh, we'll hear from our father as I invite him now. Please welcome the convener of GCK, our father, we call him Big Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. Daddy, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Praise the name of the Lord for such a library like this, a resource center, a library. We have the prints, we have the media section that leads us to almost all the messages we have given since we started. Which is something on record, the word, the message, the miracles, is a great thing. As we look at the Bible, there are prophets, preachers, we don't have any writing from them. You think of a great prophet like Elijah, he wasn't a writing prophet. Elisha, not a writing prophet. You have Caleb, a great man of God. Again, he wasn't a writing patriarch. But we have those that God used. Not that they were greater than the others, but their work has gone on record. Moses, with all the miracles that were done, he has given us in the Pentateuch. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. 
Without that, we wouldn't have known the foundation of our faith and the foundation of the revelation of God that he gave through Israel and now gives to the whole world. And Joshua, a great militant warrior, a champion. Without him, from the time the Lord called him and then on through, and he conquered the land. Again, we are being granted. The people of that generation would have benefited quite a lot. But those of us who laid out have gotten nothing. And Jesus Christ, as apostles, and Matthew, one of them, a record keeper actually, being a tax collector and was strange, before he even became an apostle. Luke and John, and we also have Paul the Apostle. Paul the Apostle, with all that had been done, he has actually given us the whole gospel. As you think about the writings of Paul, it touches everywhere. And actually, the Christian faith is built solidly. Paul the apostle, and then John, before he left, the Lord told him and showed him in the Isle of Patmos how Christ will come and all the details of the things that will happen. And before he left, he cut everything up and see covenant, new covenant. The point is, those writings have actually succeeded in building, founding, building, developing the church as it is today. And then these great men of God, John Wesley, and also I see the picture there of uh, Charles Spurgeon and many of the others. And these great men that have gone through all these various generations, it's their writing that makes us to know here is what he did, here is what he taught, and here is what they have handed over. And a great thing, a great vision that the chairman of the Khan and all the Christian leaders here, the bishops and the pastors, with our state overseer here, he put it together and he said, This is a mission. And the mission is not just floating in their head, the mission has now come to reality. And we the leaders of the church in Taraba State, what you, have, what you have done, what you believe, will be replicated in many parts of this country, many parts of this continent, and many parts of the world. You are not just uh, honoring a man, you are honoring the revelation of God. All that God has established the message, the miracles, and the prayers, and everything. Uh, and I pray, as I have read much of John Wesley, and there is a Wesley being developed in going to read and go to, I mean, to study, they're going to come from various areas. So my team won't come. I was uh, looking for a particular material of a great man of God that I had, um, you know, sought, I couldn't find. I contacted a brother, a pastor in the U.S., and he couldn't find. I said, keep on searching once. Get hold of this man. Keep on library in the university. All those things were there in the archive, and he went in there and, you know, printed everything out and brought everything out, and that is helping me as well in my ministry. So Taraba State, and you come from everywhere, they link up with this uh, number one of its kind in life. And they survived, and they will be turned around. And I believe what God has done through me, God will do through many people. As they learn and they dig deep into what here. And thank you very much, Pastor Mojali. You have followed the way of the Lord. And the Lord will reward you. Christian leaders who are lifting up the revelation of God and the Lord will history wider and deeper and go into the hearts of people. The government of Tarabas giving all some for the way you have opened the door for deeper life and for the 
powerful and mighty in our land here. The Lord bless the government of Taraba State. And I pray that, you know, there is a place in center for the northeast and northwest and central Nigeria and also for the south. We are taking uh, the example we have seen here, the model we have seen here. We are going to replicate it in other places. And uh, to the Christian body in the land and in our country, as well as those who are watching us in Africa and beyond Africa. And we pray that your example, your model will not be in vain. What the Lord has done. People. And it's my joy to declare a day as a resource center and library to declare it open in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And the Lord bless his people in this day. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. Can I hear a bigger amen? Praise the Lord. What God has done, we will be closing very shortly. Please, Your Excellencies, be seated for a moment as we will have uh, uh, the closing comments. I invite the State Overseer who will also be telling you about the evening program, which starts a few minutes from now, about four o'clock, and all other ministers are permitted to also join us online. The State Overseer, Pastor Majalisa. Father, the Lord, I'm very grateful. We are very, very grateful. We appreciate you, sir. Thank you, our mommy. Thank you, God, for what has happened today. I will thank God for all the prayers of our Father for us. I believe that by the grace of God, we are going to do much more experience in Jesus' name. The Lord is taking us somewhere. And we will not be limited to this place. We will cross borders and take over the land for the Lord Jesus. Keep praying for our father, for our mommy, and supporting them with prayer. That is the greatest we can do for them. That God will renew him. He will continue to be a blessing to us and to the whole world in Jesus' name. Uh, this evening, we continue the Global Church Workers. All of you, the government officials that have been coming consistently, thank God for you. And for those of you who are yet to come, our Father releases blessings upon us tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll be rounding up the program tomorrow. We are all in this evening session and tomorrow morning in particular when the program will be rounding off and we have the grand finale tomorrow. Come with your family members, come with uh, so that we can round off the program with our father tomorrow. This evening we are starting by 4 p.m. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you here and our brethren who are reading and listening first particulars. I believe God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. And so, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our participants online, we've come to the end of this commissioning. As I ask, we all rise. Please, Dr. Tokwe Ojeme, it's been an honor to moderate this program. I want to quickly announce that as soon as we are done with the national anthem, His Royal Highness Ibrahim Ishaya Iksu Afa area of Taraba State. We'll say our closing prayer and we'll all stay where we are. We'll clear the aisle here. Our father and the dignitaries will move out through that door so we should make the road free. Everybody move out gently. Remember it's a library. We need to keep to library instructions. And now ask for the national anthem. Thank you.
invite His Royal Highness Ibrahim Ishaya for closing prayer. Your Royal Highness. We give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God of all comfort, compassion, and mercy. Father, we thank you for Kumui, his wife. We thank you for the representative of the governor here with us, the commissioners, and every pastor bishop here with us, ancient of days. Your world sees the entrance of your world, give it light and it give it understanding unto the simple. Lord, we lift this library. Anybody that comes here shall contact that light that is inherent in our Father, in the Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Ancient of days, we pray. This resource library. And many shall turn to the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in Jesus' mighty name. As we give this prayer, this place our in jesus mighty name we pray amen thank you very much please stay where you are we have suffered to this point thank you very much thank you sir thank you mommy thank you the ssg thank you our honorable commissioner thank you our father Library now open live in Taraba State, Northeast Nigeria, and everyone is invited to participate and see an avalanche of materials and resources. Thank you very much. Christian Association of Nigeria, 
we are very, very grateful to God Almighty. We want to thank God for our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. W.F. Komuyi and our Mother in the Lord, Esther Komuyi. Mommy, please, we want you to come up as we present this thing together. Put your hands together as we invite our mommy. Actually, our Father in the Lord has been a real shepherd indeed. We are not giving him a reward, but the reward that you will receive is with God in heaven. We are giving him an award because of what the Lord is using him to do in Nigeria and globally. And so, the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan Taraba State, has recognized what he is doing in the body of Christ. So we therefore, so we therefore want to present this to him. The Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan Taraba State Chapter, a word of excellence. Please, can you hold on? Can you hold on? Thank you. The Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan Taraba State Chapter, a word of excellence presented to Pastor Dr. W.F. Komuyi, the convener of Global Crusade with Komuyi GCK. For your uncommon courage, commitment, and passion for world evangelization that made you the first in global history to come up with consistent monthly global crusade. Even in troubled times of COVID-19, and other global calamities. May God help you to finish well and finish strong in Jesus' name. Lord, yeah, we'll be doing this uh, very quickly. They may not be able to read their own one by one, but these are the club leaders of Khan in Taraba State. OAIC is here, Catholic is here, Tekan Equa is here, GFN is here, and uh, CCN is here. Women Wing is here. All of them have recognized the passion of our Father in the Lord for Taraba State and what they are presenting. They are presenting that appreciation to our Father in the Lord. All the blocks they have said they are in unity to accept the ministry of our Father in the Lord in Taraba State. Father and our mother in the Lord, we really appreciate you for the bountiful blessings you have brought to us in Tarawa State and the Christian community. On behalf of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria and Christian Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, we present this award.
our Father in the Lord, our Mother in the Lord, on behalf of OAIC, we present you. That is OAIC block. OAIC block. We welcome you and we appreciate you. This is Catholic blood, Catholic sectarian of Nigeria. Our Father in the Lord. Oh. The women in Taraba State represent represented by the Wawikan leader. That means women wing of Khan. She's the chairperson for Taraba State. They said, since our father in the Lord has been coming here, they have been watching the life of our mother in the Lord, standing by him, and they want to appreciate. So I would like her to specifically read her own. Thank you, sir. Our father in the Lord, our mother in the Lord, Permit me to read what we wrote here. A word of excellence from Christian women of Nigeria, uh, Taraba chapter. A word of excellence presented to our mommy, mommy Esther Kumuyi, for your unflinching support and standing by our father at all times and in all places as he passionately pursues his undying vision for the global crusade with. Umuyi GCK, Ma, thank you with love from our women, Taraba State. We snap with our father and mommy, and the occasion will be brought to a close. Thank you very much.